Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie for short and today I'm gonna be doing a story time on my experience with eyelashes. I had a good and a bad experience. So this is for anyone that hasn't done eyelash extensions before and you want to know about how the process is done. Also, the negative things that can come with it. So without talking anymore, let's begin. Okay, so this story time begins when I was on Groupon. In my last video, I share how I use Groupon for different things as far as like going out to eat, for beauty salons, traveling, and so much more. I thought this would be the perfect timing to do eyelash extensions. It's something that I had thought about doing for a long time, but I never got to it. And so I thought, well, this is the time. This is when I'm actually going to do it. And I was really excited, but at the same time, I was so nervous because in the past, I bought the kits that you can buy at the drugstore and you can do it from home. But this was the first time that I was going to a salon for a professional eyelash extension. I decided to go to this place because it was nearby and it had good reviews. I always like reading reviews when I'm trying out something for the first time or for a product just to see what other people have to say. And the majority were really good reviews. There were some bad ones, but it was mostly good. So I thought, okay, let me go to this place. So I called, I made the appointment and they tell you to get there 15 minutes before. So I got my appointment at noon. I wanted to get it before. I prefer doing things in the morning, but that's what they had. So I get there, I was there 15 minutes early and I was so nervous, but at the same time, I was really looking forward to my eyelashes. And so I got a guy. Um, he didn't seem like a guy that is into beauty. So I was a little bit nervous about that too, but um, just the way he spoke, um, it was relaxing. The place was really clean. It was organized and they had kind of like cubicles, like separate rooms for each person that works there and they get to work with their client. It was a long sort of type of bed and it was comfortable. I laid down and the guy made me feel really comfortable. Just get ready because you're going to be there for one hour since they have to apply hair by hair on your eyelashes and so they also tell you that before you get there not to have makeup around your eyes so i did all of my makeup but except my eyes and so either way they do clean your eyes and then they apply some sort of pad underneath your eyes and then you just lay there you close your eyes and that's when the whole process begins he was asking me if it was my first time. I said yes, and he was explaining how they have different sizes between 8 and 15. And I told him that all I wanted was something that looked natural, something that was not too exaggerated. So he recommended I get the size 10, and I said, okay, yeah, that sounds good to me. Um, he did number 10 on me. The whole time I was there, I was nervous, but I was relaxed. They had relaxing music like the type of music you hear when you do meditation or yoga and the guy was telling me that if i had any questions i could ask him at any time and so i was asking all sorts of questions regarding the eyelash or the care on the eyelashes and so i really noticed that he was really gentle like his hands the way he applied the hairs with his hands he was being really careful so it was an experience that it felt like i was getting a massage but it was for the eyes and so it was not painful at all and at the end when he was done i felt like my eyes were glued together because it was the residue of the glue your eyes get kind of sticky and so all they do is clean your eyes and so I remember when I first looked at my eyelash extensions, I fell in love with the way that my eyes looked. I was really happy and they give you a list of instructions. So one of the things is that for 24 hours, you cannot get your eyes wet so your eyes cannot touch water. And they also recommend to get oil-free makeup remover. And of course, try to avoid touching your eyes so don't be picking on the eyelashes 
and they kind of give you like a mascara one that way it's like a brush and you can brush your small hairs and something really important and this is for people who like to sleep laying down it's going to be hard because it's recommended that your eyelashes don't touch the pillow so it's better if you sleep looking up and not touching the pillow avoiding to affect how the eyelashes will look so those are some of the things that you have to keep in mind if you decide to do eyelashes and so before I left they offered if I wanted to make a second appointment because if I did they would give me a discount it was like a $20 discount and I thought yes let me do it because I left feeling so excited and I really liked how the eyes looked um, something that I did notice is that my eyelashes from the left eye were falling faster than my right eye. I don't know why, but after the two weeks, I still had a few. I still had a few left on both, but it was more in my right than my left. And another thing, in case you don't know, the eyelashes are applied to your natural hairs, so it's not something that they apply directly on the skin. So well, the second time comes and again, they made my appointment at noon. The only thing is that they told me is that I, I won't be getting the same guy from before, that this time it's going to be someone different. That day, I remember I went to the mall to get my boyfriend his gift. His birthday was coming up and because the salon was on my way, I decided just to stop by so i was there one hour before the appointment time <laughs> i remember the guy saying oh wow you're so early so i was there just waiting the appointment time comes and the person who was supposed to do my eyelashes this time she was late and again i just go to her cubicle the area where she will be doing my eyelashes this time i took off my shoes you can do so um, that way you get to relax even better and she said that she had to take a mini break so that's when I took some pictures before she even started while I was waiting and so the process is the same they clean your eye area I didn't take any makeup and then she applied some pads beneath my eyes and that's when the whole process began she was really nice with me but as she was starting to prepare the whole process, she mentioned that she had to take off the previous eyelashes, so the old ones, to apply the new ones. And she said this is something that they don't usually do, but that she will do for me. But when she was doing this, I noticed that her hands were trembling. And then um, that process was painful. I, I felt pain when she was taking them off. Um, I don't know how they take them off i don't know if they're supposed to apply something or she just pulls it but it was uncomfortable because i was feeling pain and then she was finally done with that and that's when she started applying the eyelashes hair by hair it's a process that takes one hour i don't know if i said that before but yeah it's one hour and again this time um I fell asleep for a little while, but when she was applying some of the eyelashes, I remember feeling pain randomly. Again, I don't know if she was pulling or actually I think she was separating the hairs. I remember she she said that. Um, but this time I remember like if the glue was going inside my eye, I, I remember feeling a little bit of like a burning sensation. Oh, before that um so i noticed that again the when she was done again there was residue glue left over so all they do is clean you up and no big problem um but this time i did notice that my left eye was red the whole bottom part inside my eye and it was stinging like it was still burning and i told her and she said that's normal that that will go away after a few hours and so I remember going back to the front of the salon again they offered a discount if i decided to make the appointment then they would give me a 20 dollar discount but this time i was hesitating on going back and another reason was because i saw a package save more money if i did the package instead of just paying at that time and so i thought no i'd rather call back if i need to make another appointment 
So I get home, but the burning is still there, that sensation of my eye burning. And my eye was still red, so I thought about applying eye drops. I have some eye drops that makes my eyes white in case they, they are red, but that was a huge mistake because it just made the pain worse. And so I was really worried about what was happening with my eyes. I didn't know what to do and then the next day, I remember calling them and saying, um, is the manager or the assistant available? I need to speak with someone. And um, he said, yes, it's me. How can I help? And I said, well, this is happening. I'm worried because this didn't happen the first time. And now my eye is red and it feels like it's burning. What can I do? And so um, he started to explain that it probably wasn't the glue itself but when they are applying the glue onto your eye, some type of gas emits and that can go into your eye that can affect it. I really thought the glue had gotten into my eye, but he said that it was probably just the gas from the glue and that there was a brand of eye drops that they recommended. So I thought that this was something they offered for free for their clients. But no, this is something that I had to go myself and buy. I didn't think that was like good customer service. But either way, I didn't buy those eye drops because they said for allergy. And I didn't have allergy. It was just that my eye got affected from some sort of chemical. So I didn't think that applying more chemicals would make that better. So today is Thursday and the update of my eye, as you can see, it is still red. This eye seems much smaller than this one, but if you can see this eye is completely white, all normal, but then this one, this whole part is red. And what I have been doing with a dropper, I just drop filtered water in my eye, kind of to rinse the eye, but the first drop that I put into my eye, it felt so painful. It felt like a burning sensation. And as you can see, this eye is smaller than this one. I feel like my eye is heavy. And if I even try to go like this, it hurts. This whole part hurts. By the fourth or fifth day, my eye finally started getting better. But I was so worried. I had never felt this before. And... <laughs> I was about to go to the eye doctor and see what they recommended but it finally started going away and I actually have some pictures where I show how my eye looks. This bottom part, all of it, instead of looking white, it was red and it kind of looked like pink eye but yeah, it was painful. Even if I rinse my eye with water, I used filtered water and just that it felt like it was burning so that's why I was so worried because I had never felt that and well after that experience I don't know if I'm going back it just it just worries me because the first time it was such a lovely experience like I enjoyed the whole process but then the second time it was like a nightmare and I was so worried about my eye it's something that I had never felt before so who knows um maybe I'll consider going back again, but this time asking for that same guy or maybe I'll go to a different place. I don't know, but for now, I'm scared to even go back and do it again. But I do love how they look. Right now, I have them. Um, they're not as full. Um, it's been like two weeks and I really like how they look. I love the fact that I don't have to be applying mascara every single day. So that's one major benefit. I just love how it looks. So yeah guys, that was my experience with eyelash extensions. It was scary. I was so worried. You cannot imagine how I felt. But everyone has a different experience so... But it doesn't mean that because it happened to me that it could happen to you. We can all have different experiences. So let me know what you guys thought. Have you guys done eyelash extensions? If you did, how was your experience or are you thinking about doing it sometime soon? Let me know in the comments section if you have any video ideas for me and I also want to share that I'm doing a giveaway on my Instagram, Facebook page, 
and Twitter so you can go ahead and participate and the giveaway is international. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time. Kisses! Bye! Thank you.